LeBron James led the charge with a game-high 20 points, including an electrifying final 11 points that sealed the win. We'll also highlight the impressive performance of Anthony Davis, who contributed significantly with 10 points and 7 rebounds. But the big question on everyone's mind, are LeBron and AD proving that the Lakers' championship window is still wide open? We'll explore Stephen A. Smith's thoughts on this, the challenges the Lakers face, and what it all means for their future. Plus, we'll discuss the broader impact on Team USA and their journey to the gold medal. Team USA beat Germany 92-88 at London's O2 Arena with LeBron James scoring a game-high 20 points, including the final 11 of the game. Meanwhile, Lakers teammate Anthony Davis also had a good outing, putting up 10 points in seven rebounds. Austin Rivers giving some props to LeBron and AD, saying this on X. When you watch USA basketball and realize the two most dynamic players thus far are two Lakers players, you realize they're not far behind in competing for a chip. That window can't be closed, considering I'm watching them be the best on the best team in the world. Mm, Austin with an interesting thought. Stephen A., are LeBron and AD proving the Lakers championship window is still open? I believe so. Um, listen, AD played 76 games last year. LeBron played 70. LeBron is still one of the best players on the planet. And by the way, so is AD. And so when you look at that and you look at them two years removed from getting to the Western Conference Finals, even though they got bounced out in five in, again, uh, in the first round last year, that was against the Denver Nuggets. Both were against the Denver Nuggets. Now, we saw Minnesota ultimately take them out in a seventh game. We, see, we saw the absence of Bruce Brown and Jeff Green detrimentally affect the Denver Nuggets, but we know they're legitimate title contenders. We know Jokic is the best in the world. Um, and so when you look at it from that standpoint and you see what, Anthony Davis and LeBron James are doing, if they're able to stu still do what we know they're capable of doing, it's really a matter of what the, what pieces Palenka will be able to put around them. I don't think you can say in the sport of basketball that when you have two superstars on the same team that the door is closed. Well, unless Dalton Connect is the pearl, Earl Monroe, I don't see how, in fact, the, <laughs> I don't see how, in fact, the Lakers got that much better. I really don't. I mean, they only won 46, 47 games. They were in the playing game because they played really well over a very short window. They play in six to ten games. They have a goal in mind to win the gold medal. They do have other great players around them that I'm supposed to believe that they are going to parlay that into a big championship run when in the last two years they haven't been able to do so. They are one in eight against Denver and they played in two playing games. I can't buy that's too much of a leap for me. So I will say no. Yeah, I don't think so either because I think point guard play is very vital in this conversation. I don't believe in D'Angelo Russell. He's sporadic. You can't count on him. Also, we see Anthony Davis at his best when they had a true five man, JaVale McGee, Dwight Howard, uh, and everything wasn't on his shoulders. Also, this basketball team struggled last year closing in that game, in that series versus Denver. And I look at the time that they went to the Western Conference Finals, it was about matchups. They played against the Golden State Warriors, who didn't have a big man. They went against the Memphis Grizzlies, who didn't have a big man because Steven Adams was out. But then when they went against the you know, Denver Nuggets, that, that posed a problem to them. They had trouble closing. LeBron James exuded so much energy, he couldn't get it done by himself. Uh, I, I don't believe this basketball team can win a championship. I mean, remember, no Morant against with the Memphis yep. a couple of years ago. And, you know, it's, Ju it's July, whatever it is, next June or next May. It's a long way off. They're both older. I'd be surprised. I agree with you, but in the same breath, a lot can happen. Like we saw, is, 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 is Luka and Kyrie going to be able to duplicate what they did? How far, what can we expect from Minnesota if they don't get an additional weapon to Anthony, to Anthony Edwards uh, to help him out? You look at... Denver, okay, can they, uh, are, are they a one hit wonder or will they return next year? There's a lot of question marks within the Western Conference with people beating up on each other. And you can capitalize off of that potentially when you have two experienced superstars. I wouldn't sleep on Sacramento. I'm that, not either. That's I'm a not team either. that the Lakers went 0 4 against I'm, last right. season and they Good got point. better with DeMar DeRozan. No Harry, are you worried about Team USA if Kevin Durant can't go? If Kevin Durant can't go? I, I, yeah. Because he eliminates a lot of the offensive woes that we've seen from this basketball I team. I like right now, it's all about defense and getting out in transition mm -hmm. because you see no cohesion on the offensive side. You got to find a way to unleash Steph Curry. 
Three-point yeah. shooting is going to be pivotal to, the, uh, to, to capturing a gold medal. And obviously, he's the greatest shooter God ever created. You got to make sure you get him loose. And there's no excuse not to with Steve Kerr being the coach since he's his coach in the NBA. You should be able to find a way to get him loose. Have you heard of Sam Jones? Uh, the greatest shooter ever is Steph. Reggie? Curry. Reggie, you've heard of him? Oh, please. <laughs> the greatest shooter. So what does all this mean for the future of the Lakers and Team USA? With LeBron James and Anthony Davis still performing at a high level, the Lakers championship window appears far from closed, despite the challenges ahead. Meanwhile, Team USA's quest for gold continues, with stars like LeBron and AD leading the charge. Will they be able to replicate their success with their respective teams? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. See you next time!